basketball players on the planet will be in Las Vegas this weekend for the WNBA All-Star Game. In addition to offense and defense, they'll have money on their minds or lack of it. Well, pay inequality is a growing issue for female athletes. The U.S. women's soccer team certainly is leading the charge and leagues like the WNBA, well, they are chiming in as well right now. That's right. 13 Action News anchor Jackie Costa talked to players about that very issue. Trisha and Todd, many people say the most powerful moment that came from that World Cup win was right after the game ended when the crowd started chanting equal pay. And now WNBA players like Kayla McBride are trying to bring that momentum into their own fight. Kayla McBride is not trying to be LeBron James. It's just making sure that we're being valued in the way that we feel like we, we deserve. McBride is dominant both on and off the court, a three-time All-Star guard who's active in the fight for better pay. It comes with a lot of time and work and effort and conversations that just need to be had, and we're ready to have them, you know, and I think with the leadership that we have in our Players Association and in our league with these women, the time is now. Last November, the WNBA Players Association voted to opt out of its current collective bargaining agreement, which expires at the end of this season. McBride and other WNBA players are pushing for better, more equitable pay. Right now, 50% of NBA league revenue goes to player salaries. That percentage is closer to 25% for WNBA players. Already you have a lower amount of money that's being generated, the revenue generating, and then you have a lower percentage that's actually going to the players. Nancy Lowe is a professor of psychology and higher education at UNLV. She says moving toward equity in sports will take continued media attention and stars like Asia Wilson and soccer's Megan Rapino being willing to use their platforms. They get tons of pushback from people on social media, but all facets. And so being able to respond to that in a way that doesn't just turn people off, Right, that helps to extend the conversation. That really is something that this younger generation of athletes has been um, much more, I think, skilled at and perhaps most importantly, willing to do. A lot of these women face major backlash, major criticism for being vocal on social media. And Kayla McBride told me that she really hopes that anyone who's critical of the movement for equality would be willing to come out and watch her and her teammates play. Jackie Kostek, 13 Action News.